The quadriceps function during the squat is to extend the lower leg, the tibia. In order to decide how much load is being delivered to the quadriceps, we're going to need to do a little bit of math for me to explain. So let's say, hypothetically, this is a 200 pound man who is squatting with a 225 pound loaded barbell on his back. Now to keep the math very simple, although he is squatting 225 pounds of weight on his back, you must also add to that his body weight above his quadriceps. This will be roughly three quarters of his weight. Now that will be all the weight above his legs, 150 pounds, added to the 225 pound loaded barbell, equaling 375 pounds. Now as you can see, since the tibia length has a magnification factor of roughly 20 times due to its length, that would mean that the 375 pounds would be multiplied by 20, totaling 7,500 pounds of load. That number, however, then needs to be multiplied by the efficiency factor 33% of his lower leg of the tibia. This efficiency factor is because his lower leg does not pass a 30 degree angle, limiting its range of motion severely. Now that will be equaling 2,475 pounds total being loaded onto his quadriceps. To take this a single step further, you'll be dividing it by his two legs, equaling 1,238 pounds total delivered to each quadricep while performing this squat. Now, this may seem like a large amount of load, however, it's not nearly as much as it could be, and it is terribly inefficient. Now, interestingly, the quadricep is not even the most loaded muscle during the squat. The most loaded muscle while performing a squat is actually the erector spinile.